Lucas and I are here. Um, we hope you had a great spring, spring break, break and are ready to do some drawing. What are we gonna draw, Lucas? A squirrel. A squirrel, because they're just, all the little animals, all the little wild animals are out and about. So I thought it'd be fun to do a squirrel. Okay, so here we go first. Let's go. Let's go. So our the top of our squirrel, we're gonna start with a nice curved line. Make sure first grade that you're not drawing too teeny tiny, okay? So just think of a nice curved line and we're gonna go like that, okay? I think you can see that okay, yep. So now we're doing the bottom of that head. It's a This curved line is a little um, deeper. So we're gonna draw, think of a smiley face and then it kind of curves, does a little hook on the right side. I will bring that up a little closer for you guys. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, go ahead and do a curve for the nose right at the tip there. That's the nose of our cute little squirrel. I do a dot for the eye. And then right underneath that nose, right about here, I curve up for a cute little smile. We have to get whiskers. We have some on the other side coming out. That's like, you can see a little bit of those whiskers from the other side of the squirrel's face. And then we have some whiskers coming down like that. Those are just um, very soft curved lines. You see that first grade? You got this. Okay, let's get the ears. So we have an ear on the other side. I usually go straight up from that eye and do a, a curved line that comes out and down. Mm -hmm. Then a bigger curved line for that ear. It's a nice, it's almost like you're drawing a half circle. Okay? And then inside half circle. And yes, if you're right, if it's looking kind of like a mouse or a rat, you're absolutely right. <laughs> In fact, my dad calls these what does he call them? He calls them rats with tails, like fluffy or with fur or something. I don't know. Tree rats. Tree rats. <laughs> okay, so let's do the back. So you can see here that kind of dips down and then curves up, kind of like a really nice hill that you might want to roll down. Ooh. <laughs> so start from the back of that ear and then curve up just like this. And then it comes down longer on this side. Okay, we'll get to the tail in a second. This is the, that's the funnest part of our squirrel. I understand. We're gonna save it till last. We'll, we're saving the best for last. Okay. So let's do the bottom part of our uh, squirrel head. And it's just a curved line that goes like this. Okay, you can see that the end of this curved line kind of stops where the, the top of the neck is. Okay. Good. Let's see, yeah, that looks awesome, kiddo. Okay, we're gonna start with this front Left leg, come inside the body, and then curve down. Now hold it up. This is what we've done so far. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to go ahead and do another curve. Leave a space at the bottom here, just like that. Uh, bring it down a little longer. And then for the paws, I do a curved line that comes in, curves out, Curves in, curves out, and then attaches. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Look at this. like a cross between a squirrel and an alligator. An alligator. <laughs> nice. Let's get this paw. He's, um, our squirrel is standing on a branch. So this paw comes out like this. Do that curve in, curve out, curve in, curve out, and then attach back just like that. Okay? All right. I like to do the hind leg now, and it's it's like the letter C. So we come up to about here, and then we're gonna do the letter C, a curved line, just like that. Mm -hmm. Then you can do a soft curved line for the belly to attach, just like that. Our cat is running back and forth. She is super excited right now. I'm not sure why, but she's having fun and running back and forth and back and forth. I don't know if you can hear her when she does it, but. Okay, so now we wanna do this hind leg. We're gonna do a nice curve line that does the back, curve back, curve out, curve back, curve out, and then a curve up. Make sure to leave a space between these two because we're gonna do our um, tail now, okay? So we're gonna curve up for the tail, just like that. Yay, I love the tail. 
Now on the bottom, do do it just a curve down. I mean, that means the curve is curving down and it comes back up. Okay, and then we just do curve lines. I do about four of them that go like this. And then because the squirrel tails kind of do that cute curl in, we attach that last that last um, line that we did, because we're trying to make this look like hair, right? With a kind of a bowl, a curve. It's a circle basically, but we leave it open up the top here. Then let's do some more curve lines underneath. And we're done with our squirrel. You can yeah. just color your squirrel in if you can. Um, and where is your squirrel? My squirrel that I drew is on a branch, you can see here. Um, if you want to draw a branch, um, you can keep it simple. You can just draw a straight line that starts on one side of the paper and then you stop when you get to the squirrel and then you start back up and go to the very other side and then you do another one, okay, below it that goes from one side of the paper to the other. Okay, so there's a branch. If you want to make little twigs coming out, you're welcome to or maybe your squirrel's in the grass. Who knows? You need to be as creative as possible. Lucas has a, a comment or a question? An idea. Okay. Maybe you could give your little squirrel an acorn. Oh yeah, like maybe nuts or whatever. Your squirrels are resourceful little guys. They're going out trying to find lots of different things for their yeah. for their dens. Okay, have fun first grade. Yeah. Bye. Bye.